Well, hi, thanks for joining me in my shop. Um, the next thing to do with this radio is replace the cutoff power cord with something a little better. And uh, part of that is because to do the alignment, which is coming next, I have to put the bottom plate back on. I can't do that with a temporary power connection hanging out there, so I have a a cord I'm going to install. There it is here. It's polarized on the end, uh, like all newer cords here in Canada, anyway. And uh, that's not really uh, um, much of an issue with this radio. Uh, let's see. Existing cord. connections are right here. These two. <clears throat> so this wire is the one that goes up to the switch. It's a fairly new piece of wire. I don't need to change that. And this one here connects to one of the primary side wires on the power supply transformer. So this is really the one that's going to be a little tricky. I can't be moving this uh, power supply wire very much. Uh, yeah, that's a lot better. So first I'll, I'll cut away the uh, this connection here. And it's going to be easy to fix, easy to remake rather. As soon as I can find my cutters. Hey, what's happened here? So yeah, you stay out of your shop, stay out of your shop for a day or two. And tools disappear. This one here, I'm going to cut it right in the middle of the, uh, right in the middle here. Try to preserve as much of it as possible. There we go. Out with the old. Okay, I'm gonna make one connection here, which is going to be easy. This one here is the one that's got me worried. Let's start with the tough one. just cutting this whole part away here anyway but let's see what I can get out of it first sorry about the camera but it's in pretty close here I'm just trying to trim away the tape and see what the connection is here.
big snap in here. What was it? Very good, I got some useful wire. Rather than cut it back here, shorten up a wire. This wire runs straight into the power trans uh, transformer. And uh, once it's cut back, you know, far enough, uh, you run out of wire, there's no putting more wire on it. Now, of course, there's, there's still inches of wire there, so it's not like it's on the verge, but how many more years is this radio going to be in the world? I don't know. 20, 40, 60, 100. How many more times is this going to be done? I don't know. There we are. A little bit of a side view of it. I might need a little more wire. so bad. I sat down a couple of nights ago to uh, do the alignment and I realized, oh my god, I gotta do the power cord. And I sat here and looked at the situation and got so depressed <laughs> about what had to be done here that I, I left it alone for almost two days. Thinking that this was going to be a a horror story. It's too rubbery. rubbery stuff. This connection just goes straight to the prime area of the power supply transformer. It doesn't go anywhere else. I got a strain relief for this cord too somehow. Over there, where it's coming through the hole. I 
to tie this into a knot. on it here and make my camera work better. And we're going to want to put a little shrink sleeve over that. Want some nice green. second while I turn on the focus. There. Doing this with a short amount of wire. shrink sleeve on. Yikes. Put it up here. No, don't want to go around the bend. I want to get it as far away from the uh, <clears throat> connection point as possible.
Oh, shrink sleeve. Shrink sleeve shrunk a little bit again. Uh oh. something to kind of block the heat from getting just what I got here. Somewhere I have some sheets of tin, but I don't know where they are. So I'll, I'll use this. a button from the Terry Fox run. That's probably good enough. Terry Fox was a Canadian young, young Canadian man, about 20 years old or so, who uh, lost a leg due to cancer and then decided <clears throat> he'd run across Canada on one leg. And he set out from the East Coast and he made it uh, almost all the way through my province of Ontario before uh, he was diagnosed with more cancer, unfortunately. and. Uh, his health went downhill, he never finished his run. And so since then, Canadians and other people from around the world have been finishing his run for him. Because there's an annual uh, Terry Fox run. It's a big thing in Canada and in a number of other countries, too. Uh, that was quite a while ago. There we go. I actually saw him running. I actually drove past him while he was running at the side of the road. <laughs> there we go. What happened? That's good. <clears throat> that 
That didn't turn out to be nearly as bad as I was kind of fretting about all weekend. short life, but the effect of his life has been felt uh, all over the world, and uh, you may you may actually know of a Terry Fox run, uh, even in your country. Okay, that's good, good show. I don't like the strain relief so much, because it can still wiggle in here, but not much, not too much. special knots that can be tied on cords but uh, this cord's not conducive to tying up in a knot and I didn't really want to peel the outer covering all the way back so I think that's good <clears throat> now now we're ready for uh, doing an alignment <clears throat> What I'm going to have to do is put the bottom plate back on, keep this AVC wire coming out. I think it can come out right over here. That's good. And uh, the antenna, of course, can be connected outside. It doesn't have to be connected inside there. And I don't want the antenna connected. I just want the signal generator. This will be in the way for now. It's just a ground connection. I think that's pretty good. Where's that bottom plate? Now the bottom plate has holes in it. One, two, three, four. Those holes are kind of suspicious to me. These four, these two up here are access holes to get at the adjustment in the two IF cans here. Well, you know, most often I'm doing this kind of stuff with the bottom plates off of things like this. This one says specifically, make sure the bottom plate is on. I guess that makes general sense with all these uh, radios. one screw through it. And probably two would be better. I have multiple bags of screws here from different radios. Huh. Not good. Get my parts mixed up. I think this is the right bag. labeled the bags. That would be smart. Let's see, is this teeny tiny screw right? screws there. 
three of them are slotted and one has a Roberts head. Now that's a very common thing for there to be a variation in screws on the uh, stuff like this. Okay, I think we're just about ready here. Let me turn on my signal generator. And we'll let it warm up and we'll get on with the uh, alignment process here.